So we decided to take a trip into Canada, headed to Montreal. So we found this place called Copper Branch, which was getting ready to close, and they were out of poutine, which I've never had authentic poutine. The next morning we found a place called Crudescence, which was in a grocery store, kind of a health food store. I got this raw salad and this veggie wrap, kind of like a sushi wrap. And then I walked through the store and found some of this chocolate, which most of it I have never seen in the United States. And finally, later that night, we made it to Portland, Maine, where I heard about this place called Silly's that had vegan options. And if anyone knows what movie this is from, let me know in the comments below. They had a zombie burger, which was vegan. So here it is, I had the zombie burger and a grilled cheese with some side of potato wedges. It was pretty good. And for whatever reason, there was this wall of padlocks, which was kind of cool. I'm on a boat. I'm in Portland, Maine, by the boats. I'm at Bubble Mania. Let's go inside and see what they have. So I got a curry dish with tofu and potatoes and noodles. It was pretty good. We tried to get some vegan donuts, but they were all out. So we headed our way to the Portland Headlight. So after that we headed up north to Bangor, Maine and we stopped in this pretty cool cemetery here. And this just happens to be the cemetery that they filmed Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. Oh, who's that? And this just happens to be the water tower that Stephen King got some inspiration to write the movie, or the book rather, It. And I guess he would sit over here and kind of come up with some ideas. This looks like an ordinary grate, but this is the grate that inspired Stephen King also to write It with Pennywise the Clown. And if you want to check it out, it's right on the corner of Union and Jackson Street. Stephen King's house, Bangor, Maine. There it is. And this was the entire reason why we took the trip. We just happened to go up through Canada and down to get here.
Now, everything just happens to be closed here on the 4th of July. There were no restaurants open in that area that were vegan friendly. So we went to the store and we improvised. Yes, we got some cheesecake, we got this pretzel bun, we made a sandwich with tofurkey, avocado. It was pretty good. But it just goes to show, no matter where you are, you can find something vegan. Oh, the fountain. Yum. Yum. With the pretzel bun. Alright, coming to the end of this trip, heading home from Boston area, um, and stopping in Albany to go to Bourbon and Wolf's. Haven't been there before, but it was recommended to me at the Albany Veg Fest by several people, so we're gonna check that out. And here we are in Albany, New York at Bourbon and Wolf's. And this is an all vegan restaurant. Kind of like a burger here and a Reuben. The food was delicious. And now it's time to head back to Syracuse, New York so we can start another adventure on another day. I hope you like these kind of videos. Let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell so you get notifications. And stay safe, watch out for zombies, and I'll see you guys in the next one.